Hello fellow food lovers. Today I will be showing you Chinese hot pot, uh, Cantonese style. You will need chicken soup stock, assorted meats and seafood, assorted veggies and tofu, and dipping sauce of your preference. Okay, so I've got two green onions here. I'm going to use this for the soup stock. So I kind of classify this as a Cantonese hot pot because uh, it's going to have two different soup stocks. Um, I have like a yin yang hot pot soup pot, so it's got a partition down the center so you can have two different soup stocks. So yeah, I'm going to cut some ginger as well into some thick slices. Um, so I'm going to make two soup stocks for the hot pot, but they're both going to be mild uh, soup stocks. One's going to be uh, ginger green onion, and the other one's going to be tomato. And it's they're both going to be chicken stock based. Uh, so I won't have a hot or spicy... I won't have a hot or spicy soup broth, so that's why I'm calling it a Cantonese hot pot because generally the hot pots in northern China tend to be quite spicy. Yeah, so I'm going to do a tomato soup broth and a ginger and green onion soup broth. Okay, for the veggies, uh, I got a Napa cabbage here. I'm going to take out the outer leaves. They tend to be a little on the dirty side. So I'll probably uh, peel off maybe eight, eight, ten leaves for the for the hot pot meal. So hot pot is a hugely popular way of eating in Asia and even among Chinese people in Canada and the United States. So I'm going to cut off the bottom part just to make it prettier. I'm going to give the leaves a rinse. Napa cabbage tends to be quite clean anyways because the leaves are quite tightly uh, tightly furled together when uh, when they're harvested. Okay, I have some uh, lotus root as well. Uh, they're generally that package is generally frozen in the freezer section of the Asian grocery stores. Yeah, so I had a, I put a handful of lotus leaves aside for the meal. Then this is kind of a flavored or seasoned tofu. So I'm going to use the whole thing for, for the hot pot. So they're kind of partitioned into four cubes. So I'm going to cut each cube into uh, two pieces. And I got uh, some scallops. So I bought these scallops frozen. So you have to thaw them before you uh, use them for the hot pot. And I got a package of Chinese fish balls. These ones are kind of hollow inside and they're filled with some kind of soy product. They're actually quite tasty. I prefer these filled uh, fish balls 
as opposed to just like solid fish balls. And these are like in the freezer section of the Asian grocery store as well. So I bought a package of uh, shaved lamb, lamb meat. These are made especially for hot pots. Hot pots are so huge that, you know, you get products like this, they're, they're made just for hot pot. So it's very thinly shaved lamb and it's kind of in a roll. And basically, when, as soon as you drop it into a, into a soup broth, it'll cook in a couple of minutes. Uh, it's very fast cooking because it's cut so thin. Lamb is kind of the preferred meat for the hot pot. Lamb and then probably beef is a close second. So I'm going to make my dipping sauce. So I'm going to put some soy sauce into a bowl. You can kind of eyeball how much you want to put in. Then I'm going to add some Chinese black vinegar. So yeah, you can use whatever sauces you want. If you like a spicy sauce, you can make it mostly chili sauce. If you like something salty, you could do like a soy sauce based dip. So that's a Chinese sesame paste. I'm going to put about two tablespoons in there so you can get a bit of a nutty flavor to the sauce. It's pretty hard in, in the in the bottle. You had to kind of really work to get it out. It's kind of like really heavy peanut butter. Okay, so I'm going to use two spoons to kind of break up the sesame paste so it's mixed into the soy sauce. Then I got uh, chili, chili oil. This is uh, Logan Ma, which is kind of a famous brand in China. So it's basically cooked chili and uh, in oil. So put a tablespoon in there. So I'm gonna break up the chili chili oil, mix it in with the sauce. So there's relatively very low cooking involved with hot pot. There's a lot of preparation. You have to uh, cut the veggies and get the meat ready and get the sauce ready and get the soup broth ready. Okay, so that's a yin yang hot pot soup pot. And I got two cans of chicken broth. That's about four cups worth. Yeah, so with a yin yang hot pot, you can put two different uh, broths two different soup broths into uh, into the hot pot and people can choose which one to cook their uh, their meat and their veggies in. So usually with a yin yang, one would be mild and one would be hot. So if people like spicy, they can cook their stuff in the spicy broth and people like it mild, they can cook it in the mild broth. But today I'm making two mild broths. One's going to be just tomato based and one's going to be green onion and ginger based. Yeah, so I have it on the stove. I'm going to cook the broth. So once it comes to high heat, I'm going to put tomato, the cut up tomato into one. And then I'm going to put the green onion and ginger in the other. So I'm going to let that cook for a bit. I'm going to actually top off the broth too so I have some water boiling in a kettle. I'm going to salt it as well. I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt in, on into each broth. So once you're done cooking your meal in the soup broth, you can actually drink the broth after. Some people don't 
do it generally because they think it might be, um, you know, it creates a lot of heat in your body, get heat. And then other people will, will always drink it. So it's up to you. Yeah, so I'm going to add some boiling water to the pot, top it up, bring it to its, uh, to, uh, fill the hot pot further with uh, broth. Uh, probably fill it up to about an, about an inch from the, from the top. Because you want to leave room for the ingredients to, get, to cook, in, cook in the broth. Okay, so I got a um, hot plate here that's sitting in the middle of the dining, dining room table and it's plugged in, it's on high heat. So I put the, the yin yang hot pot on it and I'm just waiting for the liquid to come to a boil so I can start cooking. So I got my lamb meat, the fish balls, the tofu, the scallops the Napa cabbage, the lotus root, and the dipping sauce. I'm all ready to go. This is a really nice casual way to eat if you're with friends and family and you're not in a hurry. And you could sit around and spend two hours eating, eating a hot pot. You can also have noodles too for the hot pot. You can have like instant ramen that's not cooked and you can just throw it in the pot and cook it and have that. Or you can have like mung bean vermicelli as well. You can have um, uh, bean curd sticks that are dried. You can soak them before serving it. You can soak it overnight. You can have mushrooms as well. You can have like button mushrooms or shiitake mushrooms almost anything goes you can put anything into the hot pot okay so I threw some of the fish balls in and some of the scallops and some of the tofu so I'm going to likely fish the tofu out first because it doesn't take very long to cook tofu is actually cooked already you just have to warm it up the fish balls might take a little longer. The scallops will cook, cook quite fast as well. Another famous thing, another popular ingredient for hot pot is spam, like luncheon meat, sliced in thin slices. It's very popular as well. So yeah, usually if people go to a restaurant or even at home, um, each person will have their own bowl of dipping sauce just for hygienic reasons. And then each person can kind of personalize their dipping sauce to however they like it as well. And yeah, you can put anything into a dipping sauce. You can put soy sauce in there, you can put oyster sauce. Um, chili oil, chili sauce, peanut butter, sesame paste. Okay, so the scallops are done. I'm going to fish them out. I'm throwing the veggies in now. I'm throwing some Napa cabbage and some lotus root. Okay, so I threw some lamb meat in there. 
It only takes maybe two to three minutes to cook. It cooks quite fast. I'm just going to fish it out. Okay, so the lotus root is ready, so I'm fishing that out. That might be one of the things that takes the longest to cook, the lotus root. I'll probably have to boil for about five minutes or so. Yeah, so once everything's done eating, you, you, have, you can ha drink the soup as well. That's totally uh, an option that's available to you. Okay, well, bon appetit.